In Windows 10, Microsoft has renamed Xbox Music and changed the name to Groove Music. So this is just an attempt to distance themselves from older branding that didn't really make much sense. They found that few people understood why they would want an Xbox Music subscription if they didn't own an Xbox. So that makes sense. The application is very similar to the Xbox Music app in Windows 8.1, but there are some key differences. First of all, it, it's a little bit nicer looking if you ask me. You have this menu along the side here which you can minimize if you'd like more room to view your music. And then you can sort by albums, artists, songs, and then you can go to the radio as well, or the explore tab which is basically the store. So this will show you newer albums that have been released, things that are noteworthy that you might want to listen to. And then once you're playing music, you can go to the Now Playing section to view the different songs that are queued up. One of my favorite things about the Now Playing section is that you can queue an entire artist or a specific album or song just by right-clicking and then going to Add To and then Now Playing. So that will queue this artist up at the end of the current playlist. Now once the music is playing, you can make the album art full screen if you'd like to. So that's very nice looking. It cycles through the different artwork that's available for that artist. Now this experience is going to be best for those that do have a Groove Music subscription or an Xbox Music subscription that transfers over to Groove Music. If you don't have that, you can still use this application with non-DRM'd music that you have on your device. Like many other music subscription services, Groove Music will allow you to download music so that you can listen to it offline or without buffering. The way that you can do that is just to navigate to an album or a song that you would like to download, right click on it and then click on download. Once you've done that, you have this nice option here of going to this filter and then you can show only music that's available offline. So if you are using your device offline, you'll still be able to play music using this feature. Also noteworthy, you can go to the on OneDrive section here. What this is, is essentially you can upload any of your non-DRM music files to OneDrive and those will be available on all of your devices using Groove Music. One nice feature that I'd like to show you is if you go into settings and scroll down a little bit here, you can change the theme of this application. So right now it's set on the light theme, but you can change that to the dark theme. So that just changes the background. And also you'll notice right now that everything here is blue. All the accents are blue here. And that's because before I started recording this video, I changed the accent color of my system to being blue. But watch what happens when I change that. So now if I go ahead and open up Groove Music again, I see a red accent color. So it automatically themes the Groove Music app to match the theme of your system, which is very nice. And that's it for Groove Music. Thanks for watching.